So it's another question here where we're going to have to uh, rearrange the arithmetic series formula. So we know that the arithmetic sequence is 3, 6, 9, 12, and we want to know how many terms would I have to add up if I wanted the sum of them to be 1,395. So uh, the sum, the sum of an arithmetic series is equal to n over 2 times uh, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And I'm trying to find out what n is. So n over 2 equals uh, 2 times uh, the first term, which is 3, plus um, n minus 1 times d, uh, which is the common difference, which in this case is also 3. All right, so n over 2 is going to be equal to 2 times 3, which is 6. And if I expand this, I'll get 3 times n, which is uh, 3n, and 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. And then uh, 6 minus 3. So it's going to be 3 minus 3n. So n over 2 times 3 minus 3n. And oh, we've got some other piece of information here. We know that sn is 1395. That's a useful bit. All right, so now we just need to solve this thing for n. Uh, I can multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2 there. So that'll give me n times 3 minus 3n equals whatever this is multiplied by 2, which is uh, 2790. And then uh, I can expand this, so I'll get uh, 3n um, minus 3n squared equals 2790. Look familiar to you. Uh, because if I move everything to one side, I'll have 3n squared uh, minus 3n plus 2790 equals 0. And what I have now is a quadratic, and I need to solve that quadratic to find out what n is. I could solve that uh, by factorising it. It'll probably factorise. I could solve it by completing the square. I could solve it by using the quadratic formula. I could solve it by using my graphics calculator, which I'm... I think that's what I'll do. All right, so equation mode, uh, it's a polynomial, degree two. I'm just gonna put in my A, B, and C values, three, negative three, and two, seven, nine, zero. And solve, uh-oh. Time to realize you made a mistake. Uh, my 3n went from being positive to negative there. Hopefully, you saw that. So, that should be positive, and that should be positive, which means that will be positive, uh, which means this would be negative. In hindsight, I would have liked to move everything over there. Let's try it in our calculator again. Uh, this time, I'll make my a value negative 3. Solve it. Okay, so two n values. I've got an n n equals 30 or negative 31. And so this is one of those cases where just because your formula spits out an answer doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't make sense to have negative 31 terms. So we can just write disregard negative. So the answer in this case, the number of terms in the series to add up to 1,395, 30 terms.